Hello, now we're doing the last section in this chapter, believe it or not, the law of sines and law of cosines. I'm going to start with the law of cosines first and do two examples, and on the next video I'll do the law of sines. Um, first of all, the law of cosines helps you to find missing parts when you do not have a right triangle. When you have a right triangle, you can use regular sine and cosine and tangent to find the missing parts. But unless there's a right angle, you cannot use the regular Pythagorean, um, I mean the regular trigonometric functions. So you have to use either the law of cosines or the law of sines. You can use the law of cosines when you're given a side, an angle in between, and then the other side. Or when you're given all three sides. So when you're given one of those situations, you can use the law of cosines. If not, you will probably be able to use the law of sines. So let's take a look first at the law of cosines. B, capital B is always the angle, little b is always the side across, and that's how it works. So the law of cosines is in your book, but you can keep it in a notebook. C squared, in other words, the side across from C, equals the side a squared plus the side b squared minus two times the side a b times the cosine of c. Now this is all one term. You can't break this off of cosine of c. So when you're solving, be very careful. So notice, little c is on one side, big c is on the other. Little a is on one side, big a is on the other, and the other two sides are go in there. So you don't have to memorize it as long as you've got it written in your notebook. So let's look at number two on the homework. We are to told to find side B. Well, um, I forgot one piece of information, obviously. Um, yes, this is 27 degrees. So we're in a situation where we have a side, the angle in between, and the side. So that's a perfect situation to use the log cosine. So B is the angle we have. So we're basically going to use this equation because we're looking for B squared. So let's write it out, plugging in what we have. B squared equals A squared, um, which is 5 squared, plus 6 squared, minus 2 times 5 times 6 times the cosine of 27. Right? Then you just grab your calculator. Make sure, once again, that you are on degrees. And <clears throat> all right. so we can just punch this in. We can just say 25 minus 6 squared is 36. Or not minus, sorry. Let me start again. 25 plus 36 minus 2 times 5 times 6 times cosine 27, and we come out with 7.54. So B squared equals 7.54. So how do we get B? You just do second square root, second answer, if you've got your answer still in there, so it's 2.75. So B equals 2.75, okay? Now, I'm going to do a word problem. And the important thing about word problems with trigonometry is to draw the picture. So if we look at this, we have two sides of a truss are 16 feet each. And they're put together at an angle, like a truss is one of those things at the top of a roof, um, an angle of 139. We want to know the third side of that triangle. So if we draw it, we have 16 16 and this is 139 degrees and we are looking for this. Now remember the law of cosines says the side across is equal to the other two sides squared minus 2 times the other two sides times the cosine of the angle that's across from it. Okay so you see all you have to do is plug it into that formula. This is your angle side pair. So that is going over here and the angle goes over there and the other two sides fill in where all the A's and B's usually are. So if we do this, 
we get 16 squared plus 16 squared minus 2 times 16 times 16 times cosine of 139 and we get 898.4 as x squared. And then to get our answer, we just do second square root, second answer, and we get 29.97 or about 30 feet, 29.97.